Hello and welcome to our program, a document and commentary of today's SRF1 Morning News. It's Tuesday, July 22, 2014. After the Malaysian Airlines flight MH17 was shot down last Thursday over Ukraine, the European Ministers of Foreign Affairs are immediately under massive pressure to take new steps towards further economic sanctions against Russia. Already last Wednesday, the European heads of state imposed stronger sanctions against Russia. Now, however, the sanctions have been widened, encompassing not only individuals, but whole corporations. And every new incident in the Ukraine seems ideally suitable for immediately tightening the sanctions. The First World War was triggered by the Sarajevo assassination. It worked just as it does today. The guilty were already chosen. Back then it was the Serbs and their nationalist underground organization. And today it is instantly, in every single case, the Russians and their pro-Russian separatists in the Ukraine who are guilty of everything. This is why they are now also supposed to be responsible for the downing of flight MH17. And before the actual investigation has even begun, the EU already speaks of economic sanctions against whole branches of the Russian economy, although they must admit in the same sentence that absolutely nothing has yet been proven true. Neither that the so-called rebels shot down the plane, nor what role Russia played in this. And even though Russia's President Putin immediately called for an international investigative cooperation, the Western media reported as if the EU had to ultimately under extreme effort, force Russia to cooperate in the investigation of the crash. But Putin and Russia were ready from the start to join in a cooperative measure. I quote Putin, This disaster has to be absolutely clarified in detail, and Russia will do everything possible to clear up this catastrophe so that an objective picture can be made of all the connections. Why does the mass media lie to the whole world again and again, although they know better? Russian Minister of Foreign Affairs Sergei Lavrov also insisted officially from the beginning on an independent and open investigation of the disaster. So why are our mass media so persistently twisting these facts? A media lie circulated in spite of better knowledge, ladies and gentlemen, public prosecutors, must be recognized again for what it actually is, an offense against the people. It is an offense because it is not just about misread football results, but about war propaganda, which is manipulating all of the Western nations into readiness for war. So in the end, it is about life and death. The Russian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Lavrov, stated emphatically in a TV program, quote, A flood of lies are pouring out of Kiev concerning what happened. They are giving everyone but themselves the blame. Hopefully this catastrophe will have a sobering effect on those who have been giving the orders for this war. So while Poroshenko blamed Russia just minutes after the plane crashed, Russia, immediately after the report of the catastrophe, even demanded an independent, international group of experts to investigate and clarify all the circumstances in detail. But even in light of Russia's efforts, Western mainstream media unflinchingly babbles on about further EU sanctions against Russia, should Russia continue to get in the way of an investigation of this catastrophe or continue to give military support to the so-called rebels. Even contrary to all technical possibilities, the so-called pro-Russian rebels are supposed to have shot down this passenger plane. The heads of the Donetsk Republic emphasize emphatically that their air defense weapons only barely reach a height of three kilometers. The airplane was at an altitude of 10,600 meters. Russian military experts pointed out that the crash site was within range of two of the Ukrainian army's long-distance and three of their mid-distance missile defense systems. Russian radar systems supposedly registered activity of these missile systems on the day the plane was shot down. 
To run such a missile system, you need a command center, radar systems, and training that lasts a minimum of 12 months. It is impossible that the so-called separatists could operate such a system even to a small degree. Yet completely disregarding these facts as well, British Prime Minister David Cameron especially pushed hard for tougher actions against Russia. Zorian Shiryak, advisor to the Ukrainian Interior Ministry, also instantly took advantage of the opportunity and wrote on his Facebook page. The USA must immediately deliver modern target tracking weapons to us and help us in aerial combat against the terrorists of the East. And the NATO must immediately start a ground maneuver to save the civilized world. And there we have it again. The permanent inclination towards war aggression camouflaged as humane. Completely disregarding all of this warmongering, our mass media summarizes the supposed goals of the USA and its vassals in the words of Swiss SRF-1. The goal is always the same. Russia and the rebels should be forced in the direction of peace. But a war is always only staged by those who want war. As Klagemauer TV has often reported already, this is goal-oriented. The Ukraine is being driven into a war with Russia as the substitute for the USA. Please watch the various other programs concerning this. Who needs a war with Russia? The USA, of course. Russia is rising up in every respect. In comparison, the USA is completely bankrupt and could really use a war in order to distract from their precarious position and annul their debts. If anyone wants war, it is the U.S. warmongers and not the Russians. To sum it up, in the area around the current airplane catastrophe, only Ukrainian NATO troops have access to missiles capable of shooting down a plane flying at an altitude of 10,600 meters. Whether this passenger plane was even shot down by a missile has yet to be clarified. Until then, all mass media should take care to present objective coverage of the incident, especially making an effort to present clear other voices instead of always pouring oil onto the fire of the U.S. warmongers. Please spread this information so that light comes into the darkness and clarity into confusion. Thank you.